All right. No, no, Rar, you can't. You can't, you can't watch one right now. Don't do it. But it's only four minutes. It's only four minutes. It's only four minutes. Let's watch it. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It's Rarlik, and today, why do I have earbuds in? I don't know. Um, That's the coolest intro I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. He thinks he's so funny. Oh my gosh. Shout outs to Speed Stick in the background, by the way. If you are a male and you want some uh, cheap deodorant that makes you smell like a freaking stud, get it? The women will fawn all over you. No cap. There's my Kirino body pillow back there. There's my grocery store shirt. I guess I just got home from work. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the anime Watamote. So, Watamote. God, dude. I, like, clearly had, like, a specific, like, a really specific look I was trying to go for with, like, my hair here, but it just looks so bad. Also, I don't know what's going on with my hair today. I don't like the way my hair looks today either, but, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. It just, it's levitating. My hair is levitating here. Do you see this? There's, there's a gap. There's a shadow created. My hair is so odd. My hair, like, essentially, yes, like, levitates. It doesn't just, like, lay down. I fucking hate my hair. Also, I don't know. Okay, okay. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> okay, I was about to go into like a fucking 10 minute analysis on my fucking entire face. Don't do that. Why? Who cares? This anime, anime is um pretty. Animally. Controversial, actually. Um, Not the manga so much because apparently the manga is really good and I don't really read. Controversial makes me think like. I don't know like almost political or something or or like there's like some 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 real crazy shit going on it's just like the anime is not really good i guess that's controversial i, I don't know read manga so i cannot give you my um my true opinions on that also kotori shirt from data live um oh God, dude i hate this guy dude Okay, just play the video. The anime isn't that good. I bought it when I was a weeb. Whatever. Still awesome shirt. Oh my god, dude. I'm so- he's so woke. He's so woke. I just bought it because fucking I love lollies. That's all. So, anyway, just got to- got to show that off, you know. <laughs> it's just, I, I, it just seems so awkward to me. It's funny that, like, I don't know. I, I guess, like, you're right. You get more comfortable as you just make more content. I feel so chill. Even though, like, I'm, like, being louder than this fucking guy, right? I feel so much more chill and relaxed. This guy just feels like, I don't know, he's 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 doing something right now. He's definitely doing something. Gotta rep the anime. Anyway, so, um, two things I really want- But also, this is, like, one of my first videos back after, like, uh, like five year break from YouTube. So I guess, you know, cut the man some slack, I suppose. I want to touch on on this um, anime is that it gets a lot of hate because there is no character development and it's super cringy. Now, it's funny that. Okay. Honestly, I'm not even really going to be able to fight most of this guy's points, dude. I haven't watched this fucking anime in eight years. And I recorded this four years ago. Uh, I, I don't know why I made a review on it. Because I don't remember, like, anything about the show. <laughs> Besides, it's fucking cringe. And the, the story didn't really go anywhere. So you know what? I fucking agree, Rar. I agree. That These are actually the two things of, um, two reasons why people hate this anime. Because these are the two reasons of what makes this anime so strong, actually. Okay, I understand where you're going. I, I, you know what? I know, I know where you're going. I'll let you explain. Okay, I'm kind of down actually. What, what do you have to say about that, Rar? Um, and I'm gonna tell you why. So basically, anime super cringy. There's not a lot to really um cover about this besides because this is kind of more of um my personal opinion, but. I like that it's super cringy. I mean, the fact that an anime can make you cringe. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, I thought that came from the fucking video. I'm like, what am I doing? No, thank you. So hard is, is actually super good writing because I have yet to ever see an anime that has 
portrayed itself so well and gotten me to feel that way. It's the same kind of deal with, um... I feel like just, like, my speech pattern, it just really feels like I'm trying to, like, just, like, like, almost, like, pulling out my own teeth, you know, like, the, it's like, you know, it's like pulling teeth. I feel like that's what I'm doing to myself. I don't know, it feels weird. It's so clear that, like, I don't know, I was just scrolling on Mal, and I'm like, I want to make an anime video. And then I saw Watamote, and I'm like, yeah. And I had, like, no basis for making the video, like, really at all. Besides this, like, very small connection of, like, hey, it's cringe. And, well, okay, I'm, I'm gonna let Rar finish it. I was gonna explain it, but, it, yeah, it's also with the character development, right? All right, let's go. With school days. A lot of people hate school days, but at the same time, it's hard to make you really hate a main character while they're- It's not that hard, and also, I've never watched school days. The, this, this, back in 2016, I just acted like I watched school days because I knew the ending. I thought that was the cool thing to do. I still have to watch school days. School Days is actually, I believe, the only anime I have marked as completed that I didn't actually complete on my anime list. I think? Probably. I don't think- I also used to have Zankyo no Terror, but I took that off, because that was stupid. I believe I still have this one, though. <laughs> Why? They're still, like, a normal human being. I mean- I'm like, oh yeah, School Days, like, dude, it, everybody hates it, and, like, they talk about how, like, the character is just, like, a piece of shit, and, like, uh, he die. So I'm like, oh, okay, got it, I, I understand. It's basically, like, I've watched the whole show, because that's all you need to know. Which, I kind of do agree with. Which, <laughs> which is why I still haven't marked this completed, I guess, sorta. But, I do want to watch it. I should watch it, like, soon. I mean, if, like, the way that they get you to despise the main character that an in that anime. Oh, yeah, like, the way they get you to despise the School Days guy, because, like, because I know, obviously, I haven't watched the show, but I know. I know how they did it, by the way. Totally know. Yep. Mm-hmm. I did, I have watched also a YouTube video on it. I, you know, there are people that, like, just watch clips of movies on YouTube to where, like, you basically build up a whole arsenal of clips you've watched to where it's almost like you've watched the show, and then it's like, do you just say you've watched the show? A lot of people will. So, to give myself a little bit of a defense here, I have watched some videos of people dissecting school days as well, and there were, like, specific scenes that did get highlighted, and that's what I'm pulling from my brain here. There was, like, a moment where, like, he went to the movies and he, like, said he was going to go with one girl and then he just debated her and went with the other girl and made out with her in front of the other girl or something. I don't remember exactly, but, like, my evidence is not technically completely unfounded, but it's just, like, dude, I haven't even watched the show. Why am I talking about it? I guess because it relates to Watamote. I wouldn't even say School Days is, like, cringe, though. It's, like... Just, I couldn't tell you because I've never watched it. <laughs> Fuck, okay, I need to hurry up. Let's let's keep going. We're like halfway through. Just go play, 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 play. Kind of, um, kind of the same deal like that. So anyway, I really like School Days as well. But, um, so yeah, the cringe levels. Love School Days. Haven't watched it. Really high, which makes it really good because i've never seen another anime like i've seen anime that have tried to get you to cringe or like for example if um i want to pluck my eyebrows so fucking bad it, it is funny like i have such more of a femboy look just because i take care of my face and like want it to look more feminine now this guy like fucking doesn't exfoliate he's got deeper bags than i have right now eyebrows unkempt Got some weird fucking facial hair going on. My nose looks more crooked th than it is now, somehow. No, my nose was never broken. It just formed crooked. Fuck me, I suppose. It's so odd to me. Why do I look better than fucking, like, 17-year-old me? Anyway. If, uh, what's it called? If you watch, like, a YouTuber watching, like, a an anime cringe compilation, they're... They never make you cringe. The only ones that make you cringe are the freaking Watamote ones. I don't think I've ever watched a video of anime cringe compilations. Why would I watch that? That doesn't sound like something I would ever watch literally ever. That sounds like the most boring content in the world. All right, well, now I got to go watch one and record myself watching it and make it on a YouTube, a YouTube video, I guess. Because <laughs> they're really cringy. 
So that I think personally is um is actually a good a good part of um of the anime. So that gives it a plus one on my scale. Now the um the one that I really the one part I really want to cover is um is that there's no character development. So of course you can see this in a really bad light because if a character doesn't develop in an anime then clearly you know the character isn't it's not a well thought out character it's not good because they didn't develop in any way there there's basically no reason for the anime um especially if the plot goes nowhere which the plot goes nowhere as well um some hard takes there but I mean I I guess so like if the plot doesn't go anywhere and there's no character development I guess it almost is, like, why is this even existing, sort of. Because in order to, like, I don't know, like, highlight certain themes and, like, you know, make you feel a certain way, I think one of those kind of does have to move forward. But also, I, I guess Wadamote doesn't, but we're still saying it's good, so what do you have to say about yourself, Rock? Um, but this is also a really, it's really smart the way they did it, though, because if if you think about this logically, okay, if you put... Tomoko in real life she is not going to develop she is this person that has never socialized with anybody ever in her life um literally complete introvert she has no social skills and she wants to become the most popular girl in school how is this ever going to happen how would this ever happen successfully she is taking way too big of steps um to make her plans work out at all if she slowly grinded her way up, like, first day, you know, uh... Well, now this is also making me think, this is actually a pretty common thing to do in, like, anime, really, is, like, yeah, they take on these huge goals, they realize that they cannot fulfill them, and then, you know, they learn from that. But... Does Tomoko learn from that? I don't think she does. I guess maybe I'm gonna touch on that in the last, like, minute here. Uh, say hi to someone in her class, right? Okay. If, if they made it that way, and it slowly built up that way, and then she still didn't develop, that would be bad. But she is trying to take these giant leaps of faith that are clearly not going to work, and it made her not develop in any way, because she didn't. She never learned that she's never going to just become instantly popular like that. So, once again, that's, um, that's the second reason of why I really think the anime is actually good. Thanks. Just, yep. Don't add more. Just be like, by the way... That is why it makes it good. Drive it in there. Believe me. So super short review. Those are just the two things. Fuck, I that's it. Oh god. I mean, listen, I'm not. I'm you know, I'm not saying I'm amazing now, but come on, come on, Rar. I wanted a little more, please. Like I usually, you know, when I do kind of like more thoughtful videos like this now, they're normally like four minutes long as well, but there's. <laughs> There's, like, so much more packed into it. This could probably be, like, a 45-second video. And if it was, I don't think I'd have basically any right to say that it was bad. It would just be, like, okay. It's kind of bad because it's four and a half, honestly. I want to touch on, but, um... If you're curious, I rated this anime an 8 out of 10, and the Mal review, the Mal... Am I giving my rating here at the end for, like, like shoutouts to Glass Reflections? Because I definitely used to watch Glass Reflections around this year, maybe a couple years before. He was, like, the first anime reviewer that, like, really kind of made a mark on the map. He's still making regular content, but he hasn't really grown in, like, eight years. Uh, rating is, like, a 7.3 or something. So... That's my two little cents on it, and that's why I actually really did like the anime, and boy was it hard to make it through because of how much I cringed. But um, that's about it. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, because if you do, you will become a dinosaur. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a fucking good one right there. And until next time, see you guys later. Okay, well, that was that. <laughs> oh man, gotta love it. All right, that's that's enough of my reactions. Enough of React Court for today. No more judgment on Past Rar. He was he was a fine boy, okay? He was still learning. I'm still learning now. But damn. I'm I'm glad I can tell that I've evolved. That's for sure.